Hello everyone and welcome back to Butterfly Dreams Crochet and More. My name is Jeannie and today we're going to be doing granny square number 12 for the hashtag the 100 day project. Now this is day 12 so I'm on day uh, 12 granny square of 100 of them. But before we get into my little chit chat with y'all today, let me welcome each and every one of y'all back to the channel. Thank y'all so much for stopping by the Crochet Oasis. You are always welcome to join me here. My door is always open. And if you are new or returning, either way, I do not appreciate any of y'all no more, no less. I thank each and every one of y'all, no matter how long you've been part of the Butterfly team. I really, really appreciate you all so i do um six rounds with a 4.0 millimeter crochet hook and um i'm using the premier hipster cotton in the color desert skies and the center part is two rounds and i use yarn b sugar wheel cotton solids both of these yarns are three weight both of them are made in turkey and they coordinate really, really well with each other. Even though the hipster cotton, I'm going to zoom in. Even though the hipster cotton is a premier yarn, they coordinate amazing together. So, you never know. They could come from the same meal and they send one to one store as a brand and one to another one as a brand so they could be the exact same yarn but these do coordinate very very well together there we go had to slide myself over a little bit i um i really am enjoying this new camera I can zoom in, I can pan sideways, up and down. Y'all can get up real close and personal. <laughs> and I wanted to do it through StreamYard. StreamYard, StreamYard allows us to record videos and we can download them and then we can share them on our YouTube channel and everything else. And StreamYard, StreamYard has really upgraded their service. We can now take and create short videos using StreamYard. How cool is that? Um, from any video that we record inside of StreamYard, we can turn around and create a short using that video. Let me know in the comments, how is your weather, where you are, um, what's in your cup, what is on your hook or needles, and how has your Sunday been? Mine has been really well. I'm not that sore anymore from my fall. Um, my knee is doing much, much better. So, I'm ticking right on along, y'all. I thank the good Lord above for every morning that my eyes open up. And I'm here to see another day. And I just make the best out of it, regardless of what is, what kind of stumbling blocks or roadblocks are put in my path that day. I deal with them and I move on and some of them I don't even deal with because every battle is not yours to fight so be happy don't have hatred in your heart or jealousy or envy or anything like that be happy for the moments be thankful for what you have and not what you don't 
and don't complain about what you don't have because trust me there's someone else out there doing worse than what you think you are and their situation is a lot worse than what your situation could be or is so be thankful you know we have to appreciate the bad in order to appreciate the good there's good in everything y'all you just have to see it but you have to want to see it though I know I'm a little tired from yesterday. I, You know, all that ripping and running and stuff, that's not for me anymore. Especially when you ain't going to any yarn stores. <laughs> now, if we're going to yarn stores, I can rip and run all day. No, I'm just joking. I guess the older I've gotten, I've always been a homebody type person. But I really don't like leaving home now. And like going to town and going to all these different stores and to look and shop and everything else. That stuff really don't excite me anymore. Now, I do enjoy going to yarn stores now. Even if I go to them and don't come out of there with nothing. It's just the thought of going in there, looking at all of the beautiful yarn, seeing if they have anything new, picking that yarn up, feeling it, and looking at other things in the stores, especially Hobby Lobby. I could spend all day inside of Hobby Lobby. I could literally go up one aisle and down the other and cover that entire store. I love their home decor stuff that they have. I definitely love their yarn. So. But as far as just like we used to do where we used to go to town and like now most stores have their winter clothes on clearance and everything else and. We normally go hit them up and we buy winter clothes now on clearance for next year. I know I definitely used to do that when we had all the kids at home. And then when fall and winter is getting ready to come in, we'll go and buy summer clothes and stuff like that. I just don't have no interest in, I guess because we're empty nesters now and my husband and I, neither one need anything, so. I mean, y'all see me in the same clothes all the time. Same shirt, same capris or pants or bottoms or whatever. And y'all only see them if I get up and y'all can see me in the camera. I got clothes back there that, who knows, I may never wear. I did just go through my closet and clean it out and got to take a bag, bag full of stuff to Goodwill. Some of that stuff I've never even worn. One thing I have stopped doing is being an impulse buyer. Just because it's on clearance don't mean I got to buy it. Or just because I like something or... I see this shirt and like, oh, I really like that shirt. I'm going to get it. Nah. I didn't stop doing all of that. And now I'm on a... I am strictly on a need basis. Well, I ran out of yarn. I had done this square one time already. And recorded it and it was backwards. So I had to figure it out. So I'm going to attach, reattach here. 
and we're gonna go from there. And do my invisible. Well, it's not invisible, but it's not a a not not like you normally would have either. So I'm just clipping them in. Okay. Because I was at the end of my square. <clears throat> and that lets me know my tension was different on this one. <laughs> Somewhere. My tension was different. So we're going to measure this one. So let's see if I can find my tape measure, and I got two sitting right here in front of me. We're going to measure it. And make sure I had the one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. Because I do six rows. Five inches. We, we are good to go. Now I'm going to cut that. And I do weave my ends in as I get done with my squares, but I don't do it on camera because, you know, I don't like to hold y'all any longer than need be because I really appreciate y'all just coming by the Crochet Oasis and spending time with me. I really, really do. So, like I always say, be kind. Remember to smile. Know that I love each and every one of you all. And until next time, I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye for now.